all right welcome guys today i'm going to show you how to do updates on the g3000 in the cj3 plus i've got the sd card right here just a garmin sd card take it out of the little case got to make sure the little tab is forward so you can write onto it i'm going to put it into my computer and this is a macbook works the same on windows but put it in we well, see the card it sees the card so now I'm just going to click on my JDM app, which is the Jefferson Data Management, I think is what it stands for. We're going to click on that, open it up, I guess I clicked on it, alright, click on it, here we go, here goes, it's a little slow, here's my username and password, we're going to log in. Alright, and then it looks at the card when it boots up and it tells you what's up to date and what's available. In another day or so, it would, or if it was past, the updates come out on Thursday, the 7th of October for my nav data, so it's not showing up here that it needs it. But I can be proactive. I click that off. I can see that here's a, in the, orange right here green is the data that i've got installed and it's good up until september 7th and then a new one becomes effective on the 7th so i can pre-download this so that's what we're going to do i'm going to hit click transfer to device and it's asking me where i want it and it's on the garmin card we're going to do that and it appears in the screen you can see it's doing it here will show our little progress it doesn't really take too long for data so we'll see. Shouldn't take too long. All right, downloading, transferring. So download is complete. Transfer is complete. All these things on the side, I can close all that, or I can just close it. And then if I look, scroll down on here, you'll see there's a future update. Garmin Nav Data future update on the seventh. So now I just close this. Close out this program up in the top, the little red, boom. And then I click on my card and then go back over here to file and hit eject. And basically that just safely ejects the card, just like in Windows where you have to tell it you want to eject so it's safe to remove. And just make sure there's nothing in the buffer or whatever. And that's it for now. And I'm gonna take this to the airplane. We'll continue with the update. When I get to the airplane, we're gonna get it on ground power and I'll show you how to install it. So, stay tuned for that. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we go. We are going to do the rest of the database updates. And here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how we do this. Here's a little fox cart right here, power cart. Here's what we gotta do to hook that up. I'm gonna show you guys how we do it all. I'm up unlock the baggage compartment I'm gonna hook up the battery and technically I don't have to hook up the battery to do this all right I'm turn on the light all right battery's hooked up here's my baggage compartment pretty roomy there's a lot of room back in there all my circuit breakers and everything and the fire bottles under there and now we're gonna plug in the car, but first I'm gonna get my gloves so I don't get dirty. All right, I'll show you guys how I'm done with this. I got a system to this. I'm gonna put my little card. Make sure I don't lose my card, put that in my pocket. And here's what I'm gonna do. Set you guys right here for a second. Alright. Alright, you guys hang out right there for a second. And they got a plug in over here on the wall. All right, we can speed this up till you get this. Good morning, Park. Plug this, get this cord off. I'm gonna grab you guys just to show you. All right, I'll show you. Here's the little door external power and you push it and it'll stay open 
This is what I'm going to do. We got it plugged into the airplane. Got it plugged into the wall over there. It's 240 volt plug. And then I turned on the power and we just make sure that we got 20, at least 28 volts. So it's, it's 28 and the amps are gonna be low until I turn on the battery inside. All right. And then let's walk over and open up the airplane. Show you how we do it. The door. the door until it locks, until it latches, undo our stairs, our little steps. All right, and here we go. It's dark right now, but I'm gonna turn on. It still smells so brand new. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. All right, and then I'm gonna turn on. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm gonna turn on the battery. And then once this gets going, I'm going to turn off the speaker because we don't need to listen to that noise. All right? And actually, I'm going to show you guys. The database says it's out of date because the charts, they came out on September 1st. My nav data goes until the 7th. I'm going to go ahead and put the next cycle on there. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do this. So let's see here. I'll set you down just for a second. I'm going to turn the battery off. All right, turn the battery off. And here's what we're going to do. There's two SD cards in the MFD. The top one is a maintenance card. The bottom one is the flight stream. We take out the bottom one. The flight stream connects. Okay. I'm going to open the cord. It's hard to do this one-handed. All right, I'm gonna make sure the little read-write thing is good. It's up. Slide it in. Make sure it clicks so it's good. I'm gonna turn on the battery again. Turn on the battery. All right, and you can see it's starting to do a little update already. I'm gonna turn the speaker off. Speaker. And then watch, we're gonna look at the database. And it's, the sync is pending. It's doing one of three. I thought it just had navigation and charts. We got chart view. Oh, and IFR chart. So I got two charts on there that are going and the nav data. And I'll show you when we get done. We're going to let this finish. So that is already synced. The navigation is already done. The chart view is going. So this has got nine minutes, but watch. It'll count really fast. And I will uh, fast forward through this if it takes too long. Three seconds. All right, so the database is complete. And it's white, meaning it's good. Even though you'll see yellows, it doesn't like that, that that's in the standby, right? Chart view. databases on ground start. So now what we do is we turn the battery back off. We take the SD card out because we're done with that. We're going to put the flight stream card back in in the bottom slot of the MFD. All right. We give it a few seconds just to make sure it, it's, nothing's buffering or whatever. Make sure it's completely powered down. I think they recommend like 30 seconds or so or whatever. Something like that. All right, so we'll give it a second. All right, and I'm going to turn on the battery. The battery comes on. And if there's ever an issue when it's booting up, uh, usually you just 
powered off part back on and that resolves it so once again I'm going to turn the speaker off all right and then we're going to look at databases and look they're all in white they look good and I'm going to show you guys so my charts are all good charts are all good they're all in white but if you look up here at the nav data the active expires on the 7th it's 2308 2309 is the next one it's already in the standby ready to go so on the 7th I believe it'll still use this one and then on the next day it'll switch to this one when I power up but we'll see because I'm actually gonna be flying on the 7th so we're gonna see what happens which one it uses not that it really matters that one's uh, expires on the seventh. This one isn't effective on the seventh, so I don't know. But anyways, that's it for that. All right, and now I'm gonna move on. Uh, we'll just go home.